Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Brooke Roll. All right, here we go. I've been talking about this for six or eight months now, uh, especially on the live streams, and today we begin. Ever since I was a kid, I have loved rocks. I've, I'd go, we'd go on family vacation, and I'd pick up rocks and bring them home with me. Um, when I had my house in California, and I was excavating in the yard and found interesting rocks, I kept them and decorated my yard with them. And about a year ago, um, I took you along uh, with this, I went to a rock and mineral show at the convention center, bought about $400 worth of rocks, that day and that started off a collecting phase that continues to this day. Um, I found a local rock and mineral shop here in town called Gallery 11 Rock and Minerals and I visit them every couple weeks and, and I've amassed a pretty serious collection at this point. Now I've been talking on the live stream for last six or eight months or so about finding a place to put this and I wanted to build like shelves underneath here uh, that I could use to store my rocks so I can get them off this table, start using the table as it was originally designed to be. Um, additionally, uh, I started getting into uh, a little bit of this uranium glass. I saw a little bit of that at the rock and mineral uh, shop that I go to and I picked up a few pieces of that. I want to get that displayed on, under the uh, table also. But, like I said, there's a, I've been concerned. There's one little bit and piece about this uh, that has concerned me a little bit and that is I wanted to have a table or a shelf that went all the way to the back wall so I would have a lot of space. The problem is I have these supports for the table underneath here and um, originally I was thinking I'd build a, a table or a, a shelf that would kind of you know follow the the contours of the of the uh, the brackets here but that was going to be really, really complicated. And then I started thinking, okay, well, maybe we'll do kind of a stair step kind of thing uh, that would do that. That's a little complicated too, uh, but I've kind of decided instead, I think what I'm going to do is just build a shelf maybe that's like 12 inches deep and it'll be just a square shelf. It'll go to, to here and then straight down and we'll have two rows on it. And I think I can do that. And actually this morning there was some uh, complications I was thinking about and all of a sudden inspiration struck and I'm gonna take it in a slightly different direction. And that's kind of gotten me going and I wanna kind of figure out what that's gonna look like and maybe get going on this project today. So I've done some basic measurements. I figured I wanted the shelf to be about 12 inches deep. So I measured from here uh, to 12 inches and 12 inches is this line right here and then the back wall is going to be a piece of three-quarter inch plywood so the back wall will be here and when I go when I measure from here down to the ground we're looking at about 30 and a half inches so that's a nice round number my shelf is going to be about 30 inches tall um, with the top and the bottom and like some feet on the bottom and stuff like that. That gives me about 29 inches, 20, 28 and a half inches of working space for my, uh, for my cabinet. And so that's what I want to do is I want to build a cabinet that's 30 inches tall, 12 inches deep, and it's going to go all the way to that wooden box there where I have the uh, printer and some other stuff. And that'll be eight feet long, so that's gonna give me a significant amount of space to display my rocks. And like I said, I've uh, been thinking about other things too, about how, how I was gonna light stuff up, and uh, I've got some ideas on that, and I'll show you actually what I have in mind. Now one of the sections on the shelf is going to house my uranium glass collection. And so a couple months ago, I went out and found these really cool ultraviolet uh, LED light strips. And they do a really good job of lighting up the uranium glass. So I wanna put some of these on the top of one of the shelves shining down on the uranium glass. They also do a decent job, although not as good a job as I'd like, on some of my UV reactive minerals. So I may have the uranium glass and the UV reactive minerals in the same section so they can all benefit from this. Now these things are really cool because they just plug into, a, it's just a USB plug. So I'll just go get a USB hub, maybe even use this one like this, and that will power these individual lights. And that's gonna, I think, do a really good job. Uh, like I said, it makes the uranium glass pop. And it does, it's not as impressive with some of the 
uh, UV reactive minerals, but I've got the flashlight for that. So uh, that's a part of the lighting of this. And then this is going to be the other part of it. This is a uh, LED tape strip. Basically, it's a, it's a thin string of LED lights on like a long strip that has like adhesive on the back of it. And I'm going to attach that to the underside of the shelves to illuminate the uh, rocks and minerals that I have inside the shelf. And it throws a lot of light. It allows you to pick the color you want. So that's kind of cool. I was hoping that it would go deep enough into the ultraviolet light that it could uh, replace these, but it didn't go deep enough to do that. So it didn't do much for the ultraviolet reactive minerals, but most of the stuff I have isn't ultraviolet reactive. It's just pretty and it needs, uh, needs to be well illuminated. So like I said, I'm going to run this, uh, one of these strips on each of the shelves, maybe two of them on each of the shelves. It comes with a little remote control and so I can change the lights, can change the intensity, even make, uh, patterns if I want. Uh, and that will be part of the, uh, the shelving itself also. So this is sort of just a rough drawing of what the thing is going to look like. The, uh, the top image here will be the front of the uh, shelf. And so it's going to have the walls that are 30 inches tall. It's going to be 96 inches wide. And there's going to be a shelf in the middle. And there'll be like a support bracket uh, in the middle of the shelf. And then, of course, this is a side view. Uh, it's going to be 13 and a half inches deep. That's going to include uh, both the back panel and... I want to have a little uh, piece in the front that's going to be just kind of a facing piece so that you don't see a big gap between the top of the shelf and the bottom of the table. And so I want to have 12 inches of workable space inside there and I'm going to be using 3 quarter inch uh, oak plywood. So that gives me another uh, inch and a half, so that's 13 and a half inches total. And it's also going to have these little feet on the bottom which will have like little, uh, little pads on it so that I can uh, you know, keep it, can move it around if I need to without scratching the floor. So that's sort of what this thing is going to look like, and at least that's the plan. So I've kind of figured out uh, what I'm going to need uh, in terms of uh, the individual pieces. It's going to be three horizontal pieces of 12 inches deep by 96 inches long. It's going to be three uh, vertical pieces uh, of 12 inches uh, deep and 30 inches tall and then the back wall which will be 30 inches by 96 inches so i think i'm going to need three pieces of plywood and that's what we're going to go to do right now we're going to get that at home depot and we'll probably buy our second string of lights also holy cow have lumber prices gone up I remember just a couple years ago, you could get a four by eight by three quarter inch piece of oak plywood for 40 bucks. These were $90 a piece. That's insane. Those uh, little pieces of uh, solid oak there on the bottom that I'm gonna use to like frame things and make things look nice. Those things are six and a half dollars a foot. That's insane. I well, got, it, got out of Home Depot for a little under 600 bucks. Yeah, that's where we are. All right, I've begun to kind of frame this thing up. Um, and uh, basically what's gonna happen, this is gonna be the roof. There's gonna be a similar piece here. There'll be this, uh, the floor. And then there'll be a wall here, a wall here, and a wall here that will kind of give framing. Then uh, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually use uh, shelf brackets, like you would use to install shelf brackets inside your house. And these will go into here I'm going to have to cut them down a little bit because they're a little bit long, but that's okay. We can do that. And then we'll help hang the shelves on these. And that will provide the, uh, the middle shelf in there that's going to, uh, you know, be the uh, support for the top half. So, like I said, we're going to have to be very, very careful, get this exactly precisely put together because any little error at all, and I'm going to have to to uh, go buy more lumber. And like I said, I've already put about $600 into this. Now, I am working in the garage, it's 90 degrees out. So what I've got is a little trick here. I use a, uh, a little circular fan inside the house. I open up the door and the garage going into the house over here and I'm blowing, blowing cold air out of the kitchen into the garage and then it circulates around here into the, uh, into the uh, back into the house here. So 
that's that's allowing me to bring the temperature down about 10 degrees in here and actually make this very very habitable and very comfortable so like i said i'm going to start framing this thing up and putting it together and uh i'll catch up with you in a little bit all right a couple hours have passed by i've got the top of the shelf installed i just attached the bottom half of the uh the shelf this will be the floor of it so this will actually be uh, the bottom shelf there will be a middle shelf in the middle and uh, we're gonna let this dry a little bit now what I want to do to make this thing stronger is I have a finishing nailer uh, that I will drive nails through the wood from here into this piece all the way across top and bottom and uh, that will add additional strength the glue is really really good this is Gorilla Glue I've used this a bunch of times before and most of my projects are honestly only held together with Gorilla Glue but this is a real strong uh, wood glue that I've used a bunch of times I really like it and uh, like I said I want this to be really strong because I'm gonna probably have you know two or three hundred pounds for the rocks in this thing so it's got to be strong enough to hold up and uh, and uh, you know not fall apart so that's going to be sort of an important uh, part of this uh, but the problem is the finishing nailer I have is many many years old and last time I used it it didn't work very well uh, in fact it was uh, misfiring a bunch of times and uh, that's not going to work for this I need this thing to work a whole bunch so I'm going to probably go out and get a new finishing nailer tomorrow uh, but I at least want to kind of get it glued together so that you know we can uh, you know have have it kind of ready to be nailed together once we get the the new finishing nailer but I think it's starting to look all right you know I've uh, I've kind of picked you know sometimes with lumber at Home Depot you have to kind of decide what side is gonna look good what's gonna be facing you know the people are gonna be able to see what's not gonna be facing you know cuz you know some of this lumber has has better looking sides than other sides that for instance you know there's a little bit of damage right there on the lumber but fortunately that's going to be on the underside so unless you get down and look up on it you won't see that on the other hand this shelf here i want this one to look really nice because you will see this the rocks will be on this and the back it's really important because you will see that looking through the uh through the uh you know through the shelf and that will be behind all my rocks so uh, like I said, I want to let this uh, set up a little bit, clean it up a little bit, and get the side pieces, the middle piece, you know, uh, installed. And I'm also going to put the feet on it probably tomorrow. So I think at this point we're kind of wrapping up on today's uh, part of the work. I'm going to let this dry overnight, and we'll pick up with this tomorrow. So uh, I think we're going to end this video. Thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.